This is pretty tough to pack, you know, the kind of information that I want into one minute. I'm David Schwartz, CTO at Ripple, and this is Crypto in a Minute. Got one minute, okay. Well, the first consensus model was proof of work. I guess the advantage of proof of work was at the time it was the only game in town and it allowed for a decentralized system that is one that doesn't rely on a central authority. Later developments included things like federated Byzantine agreement with the XRP ledger uses and proof of stake. Some of the advantages of these later developments are lower cost, proof of work costs millions of dollars to pay the miners for the energy that they use. Proof of stake doesn't have that cost and can provide comparable security. And if you're the person who's paying those costs, if you're the people who are using the system, how much it costs just to keep the system secure is like a tax. It's residual friction that the system doesn't remove. Federated Byzantine Agreement, which is what the XRP ledger uses, makes the users of the system the stakeholders rather than the people who have the most money to spend on tokens or power. And that provides a more sort of democratic system where the costs can be low and the performance can be high. Oh, just <laughs>